Is it time once again for the gripping adventures of Arcadius and his magic penis? Shuttle has arrived. Ah, oh. oh, look at that. That's good. Let's get portly loaded, and that's another quest complete. That's right, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Ohm Struppers and Clan Arcadius and Crunk and whatever the hell we've got going on right now. We are in the medieval era. Well, we're just about to to really start getting established here in the medieval era. We've started building walls out of stone rather than hardened soil. And our current storyteller of the day is our good friend Randy Random. Now, I won't be long here before we're done with the external walls and the little bit of terraforming we're doing inside. Then we're going to move on to maybe a vanity project, maybe some defenses. I think defenses probably wouldn't hurt. But on the subject of vanity project, there was a really good suggestion in the comments yesterday that we should build a, a tomb for family members of a specific family, in this case, Clan Arcadius and his 15 children. That way, when the time comes for them to die, and unfortunately, Arcadius one day will die as sad as it will make us, we could build him a very special building in the graveyard where he and all of his descendants can uh, can be interred for eternity. Granted, uh, they might take up this entire area just by themselves. Get out of here, Portly. And with that, we should get a shitload of Glitter World Medicine, if I remember correctly. 42 Glycerol Medicine. Now, if we need it, if we're that desperate to get some variety in the gene pool that doesn't just come from Arcadius and his bountiful areas, then we can use this to start a new generation. I'm a little bit worried the way it is everybody is related, and of course, that's going to kill off an entire generation single-handedly. The Arcadius Blessing is also the Arcadius Curse. Oh, good, look at that. Finally, they're putting the school to use. We're training the children to be the proper frontline soldiers we need them to be. What? Plasma's dead. How old was Plasma? 76. Oh my god. That's another death in the colony from old age. Wow. So they have an increasing chance each year, the older they get, to have some sort of fatal injury happen to them. Wow. Holy crap. Oh no. Alias could be on the chopping block. Plasma is gone. Goodbye, Plasma. Damn, that's such a shame. 17 construction double passion. That is a that is a sad day for the colony. You can't really host funerals in RimWorld, can you? Might have to be something I try and find, because that'd be pretty appropriate. I suppose it never really again, the whole old age thing isn't really normally a problem. Oh, it's always a good day in the colony. It's like a revolving door, one out, one in. Assume this tiny child doesn't have uh 17 construction. No. This tiny child has actually got awful. Oh shit. Thank you, Randy. Where? Oh, good. Right side the walls. They're not going to be that bad, though, are they? Well, that's quite the coincidence. What a terrible day to be a trade caravan. Bonk. <laughs> Run home. Get out of there. Get out of there. This is their problem now. Oh, what a play. Oh, what a play. Are they going to be all right? Well, we'll, we'll just kind of stand there and watch. Crunk? Don't get too close. Wait, Crunk? That seems like a horrible idea. Excellent. Well, I... Genuinely couldn't have worked any better. Wow. Oh, that's quite a nice moment. We got a little, little family outing there. Huh? This is good. Oh, they wouldn't like to speak about it, apparently, but they are having a family outing. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, that's, um, that's really something, eh? Oh, no. Alias. She's gone as well. I think she was our oldest sort of character yet, though. 79. She almost broke 80. Is that a new record? I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it is anyway. God damn. There we go. Heart attack at the age of 79. What? Excuse me? When Stumpy Cyclone's family member died, she developed a fun-loving trait. A <laughs> fucking mother just died? And she developed a fun-loving trait? That's... That's not okay, Stumpy Slaghorn. Maybe it's like... Maybe she's like celebrating her life. Maybe she's a complete fucking psychopath, but maybe she's just celebrating her life. Who knows? Goodbye. Goodbye, Alias. One of our first colony members there. What an incredible legacy she's left. She was the lover of Arcadius, the mother of Stumpy Slaghorn. She isn't actually going in the tomb of Arcadius because it's not, not blood relation. What a tragic time. An episode after episode after episode of new colonist, new recruit, new prisoner, new child, baby after baby, thanks to friggin' Arcadius. And now all the old guard are dying. 
That means the oldest person in the colony now is uh, is Bored Doom there. 69, followed by Arcadius. That's going to be a sad day when he's the, the colony elder. On the plus side, it is quite literally free real estate, so we don't have to build any more houses. Yeah, clean the streets, you little urchin. Oh, could this be the start of Generation 3? Stumpy Slycorn proposed a lifelong commitment to Kronk. Oh, God. Who's taking whose name? Stumpy Slycorn would change her last name to Salazar. Wow, that's, uh, that's high tier. I was really hoping for a second he was going to be called Kronk Slaghorn, but never mind. A tribal raid. A kind, friendly tribal raid. No plate armor. In fact, barely even clothes. Ohm can handle this. Ohm, enjoy it. What, what are they doing? Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to be in for a world of pain when you... That's a child. I'm just going to now beat a child. Hello there. Get him. Kill them all. They're lining up for a beating. Oh! Yeah, we do have to bear that in mind. They did just hit him with a berserk pulse. Um, It's not like we can even lock the gate yet. We don't quite have a gate, unfortunately. Oh, they finished the Tomb of Arcadius, though. Well, what is going to be the Tomb of Arcadius? As well, as they did what they could. I feel like a berserk... Arco Seed is not ideal. Okay, um... Are you just gonna kind of stand there? Wandering, wandering, wandering. Okay, if no one goes near him, he'll chill out. Steal what they can and leave. Don't you dare. What are they going for? My anima grass? Nobody takes my grass. Get him. Arcadius. Oh, this is... Oh, this is awful. Thank you, Dimos. I hope you got a couple of good kicks in. I'm just gonna keep a very, very close eye on things. Make sure people don't get too close, but we should be fine. Getting a little close for comfort there. Oh, shit. Okay, Stroopers, be careful. If anybody starts building this stabilized sand, we could be in a... You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that. I think we can wait. Oh, my God. Lyra. Lyra, run. She's only 13. I just... You just ripped her, head, her leg clean off. Okay, in that case, uh, we're not taking any more gambles. Get out of there. Oh, fuck, he's after Stroopers. Not Stroopers. Remember your friends. Ohm, Ohm, your friends, remember. Stroopers, sacrifice yourself for the colony. No! Please don't do it, please don't do it, please don't do it. Get out of there, Stroopers. Keep, keep it moving. She just, she, she, she might have just given her life for the colony. Ah, oh, she's fine, she's fine. Okay, she's not gonna die. Unlike Lyra. Vadim? Oh, Ohm, you can't. Poor Vadim. <laughs> it's not even our colonist. Human revenge. Brilliant. Outstanding. Maybe Ohm is a vengeful god. Bleeding out in five hours, but Ohm is guarding her like a vulture. Piss off, Ohm. Ah, the simplicity of youth. <laughs> oh my god, this could drive a huge wedge between Ohm and Clan Arcadius. If he smites down the, the youngest of all of them. Oh no, wait, this one's this one's nine. Well, that's not the point. The point is he's just he just pulled the leg off of one of Arcadius' children. Oh my god, I think she's actually gonna die. She's gone. Oh my god, she's gone. You're gonna hate Ohm now, surely. Oh no. Ohm. Oh, he's not even on the list. I might, maybe, 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 well, maybe Arcadius just has too many relatives. Ah. Ohm? Maybe, it's because he's berserk. He hasn't got any relations right now. Oh, no. That means everybody's going to be sad for so, so long. His berserk rage came to an end. He obtained the kind trait. Oh, no, he blames himself. In some ways, he should. But, I mean, it wasn't really his fault. They, they kind of tricked him into it. He's saving Stroopers. Are they, like, really pissed at home now? Oh. I mean, I think things have been injured quite heavily. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Arcadius here. Oh, they don't, they don't blame him. I'm saving for my wounds. I've always been in his debt plus 10. They don't blame Ohm. They're all devastated about it, but my daughter Lyra died. Ah, oh, shit. 30 days. Bear in mind, 13 days, that's like six years he's going to be... That's like nine years he's going to be upset about that for. 
I mean, I feel like that's reasonable to be upset about the death of your daughter for nine years. I think that's, I think that's understandable. My God, to think that two Marcadius would get this much use this early on. That's horrifying. Oh no. I'm thinking of people like Toilet Gravy. Because Toilet Gravy, no, no, Toilet Gravy is not related, right? So who, uh, like Stumpy, uh, Stumpy Slaghorn, she's going to be so upset. Her mother died and then her sister died as well. Ah, oh, shit. Good night, sweet Lyra. You were too perfect for this world. The first of the great Dimos dynasty founded by Arcadius himself. Was well, That wasn't really the most appropriate place for a fucking picnic, was it? The first of many. Oh, he had some words to say at her funeral. Sad day. A sad day. Oh, shit. Well, hey, there's another one to replace the one that we just lost. Now I'm thinking, why don't we expand over here a little bit? And why don't we build an actual stockpile and an actual separate workroom? So this one here will create as the, the workroom or the thinking room or whatever. We'll put a big building down for the stockpile. And then all this crap here, we can turn back into houses because we're, we're gonna need it. Oh, thank you, Randy. That'll make Arcadius feel a little bit better and probably pumping out another 20 or 30 kids. I'm hoping we can get the castle walls soon for research, to be honest. We haven't had much time to do any research at all. They've, they've increased a very tiny little bit on a gate for the front of the walls here. Oh, our only research project left is simple curtains. I guess at this point, that's as far as a thinking spot can go, eh? Wait, new... A new technology level? Whoa. Oh, shit. I got it backwards. Now we're medieval. <laughs> so everything we've done up to this point is tribal. The calculation for when we're attacked by stronger factions is when you're halfway through a particular tree. So when we were halfway through tribal, then we, we could be attacked by medieval. When we're halfway through medieval, we can be attacked by industrial, which is a little bit chip, but there we are. Oh, now we're medieval, right. And Cassandra Classic is in charge. Yay, okay. Oh, look at that. There we go. Whoa. Religion symbols. A uh, God King throne for Ohm? When you think about it, throne and Ohm do rhyme. <laughs> Leather tanning. We can actually make proper armor. God, it's so nice to have Ohm back on thinking, huh? Good work. So now we can finally make armor for everybody. How do we do that? Uh, I want to make preferably, well, things out of cloth, because that's really all we can use, unfortunately. We can make our capes. Okay, not really what I'm after, but I guess that works. Tabard, tabard, no tabards. Do we need uh, an actual workstation for that? Like, do we, I assume we need tailoring? Tailoring station, there you go. Hand tools and wood. Crafting stations, crafting workbench. We no longer have to work on the floor. Well, a list of messages I never want to see includes... What? Slavers? Slavers, these are the Viking clans, aren't they? Oh, you shit. Oh, you shit. We haven't got the walls completely finished yet. Um, I suppose the best place to meet them would still be... Still be here, right? Uh, just get indoors as fast as you can. No, they're not gonna- they're not gonna make it. Let's just get everybody out here and we'll all fight together. We could bait them in through the prison. No, they're not gonna make it. Oh god, here come the dogs. Okay. Okay, come all the way back. Stand all the way back. Bunch up to what is kind of sensible. Kill the dogs. Things will be fine. Right, Bordoon, let's get you down. No, no, no. You stay there. Bordoon, come down here. Children? <laughs> of course I've drafted up. Has he got a gun? Oh, it's a bow. It's a bow. Well, we, we still don't really know what those are. Okay, you stay there. Ohm, get out there. Do some damage. Oh, this is ridiculous. Get him. Get him. Ohm, take him out. He takes the flank. These guys are doing fine. Get in there, though. We could, be, we could be optimizing a little bit. They have knocked down a child as they screamed, taste my wood. And you're going, you're going away for a long time. Good kill from home. Good kill from home. You're trying to steal my things. Melee attacking my storage parts. Unbelievable. You can beat my children with your wood, but you're absolutely not touching my storage parts. Get him. Get him. Holy shit. Toilet grave. Are you okay? Six hours. Arcadia's putting out in 13. Holy crap, if there ever was a sign we needed armor, this is it. They're all being savaged by dogs. Right, where are they? They're my friggin' A! What a nightmare. They're all down over there. Ohm's about to take that one out. Seven hours for Strooper, 11 hours for Bordoon, 13 hours for Arcadius. 
11 hours for Crunk, 4 hours for Siphon. Okay, Siphon, you're first on my list then. Sergio and Norma are both good. Uh, no, 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 no. We can't lose anyone else. No, 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 no. Siphon, get tended. Get tended. Stumpy is fine. Stumpy, go fist fight them. Siala. Siala's fine. Fist fight. Crunk? Crunk's not doing so well. Bordoon's not doing so well. Uh, you're okay. And you're okay as well. Right, it's four versus one. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Six hours. Okay, five hours for you, four hours for you. Right, so let's change attention to there. Oh, yeah. Beating the fire out. They look like fire to my freaking farm as well. Oh, shit. Get in there. Please help. This is actually horrible. Sergio's fine. Get out of here, Sergio. You're fine as well. 12 hours. That's okay. That's okay. Right, toilet gravy. Go. Struppers is six. Oh, Ciala. Oh, God. Yeah, get in here. Help us out, for God's sake, Kronk. Okay. Oh, my God. Ciala fell over at the same time. I generally thought Ciala had died. Then they're flying. They're flying. They're flying. Horrible. Okay. Struppers. Fine. Arcadia's bleeding out in 12. Kronk is in 8. Siphon's in 5. You know what? I'd, I'd really, really like another doctor. Is there anybody we can train up? Because this is fucking absurd. Siphon, you're a doctor now. Congratulations, my friend. It's 45, so it's a bit of a bit of a late, bit of a late medical uh, medical license, but that's okay. Okay, this is this is fine. Ohm's fine. Strupers is fine. Bordoon is fine. Arcadius, three conditions need tending. I imagine there's been some permanent damage from this. Crunk is 23. Siphon's getting treatment now. Zell has 22 conditions that need tending. Holy shit. Strumpy Slaghorn. Stumpy Slaghorn is down. Puke Soup is also not doing so well. Moira is really not doing well. Okay. Okay. That was that was just a big injury. What, what did you lose, though? An arm? A leg? Uh, maybe time for prosthetics? A little bit? Okay. Ciala's so rescuing Stumpy. Toilet Gravy has been rescued by Krunk. Maybe this is maybe this is Ohm's redemption arc. He kills, but he also saves. Okay. Ciala's so fine. Arcadis has a couple of bruises, but it's otherwise good. Kronk is bleeding out, but he's decided to go and have a snack first, which is why he's not being tended. <laughs> oh, God. Puke soup has an infection. Where? Right leg. We could pull it off. I would rather not lose any more limbs today, if that's okay. Let's everybody tended now. We should probably go through all of their health tabs and see what we're looking at. So we need a nose. Poor Strooper says barely anything left. She's missing four digits, an eye, and an ear. Bordoon is missing an arm. Fucking hell. Arcadis has a cut scar, but other than that, he's still doing absolutely fine. Kronk got away with it. So did Siphon. So did Ciala. Oh my god. We actually got so little permanent damage. Moira has had a shattered nose and has lost a leg and an arm. Other than that, it's fine. Luciferium, though. I might grow back, you never know. Midori is fine. Sergio has lost a couple of digits, but it's otherwise okay. Dimos has lost an entire shoulder. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So we're missing couple of arms and legs there, but it's not awful. It is very lucky it was a slaver raid. They turned up with a lot of blunt weapons, because if it was swords, we'd be, <laughs> oh, we'd be so screwed. On the plus side, we can now turn their dogs into armor. Oh, no. Toilet gravy. Oh, infection in the leg. Okay, okay, I'm sure you'll be fine with herbal medicine. We do have that glossotet medicine if things are looking desperate. 69%. Nice. Puke soup. Rim child is binging on alcohol. What an appropriate thing to do. Oh, he's 18. Oh, that's not nearly that bad. There's a single beer. I mean, I suppose that is binging. He's drinking 100% of our beer supply. Puke soup, you've drank every last beer. I think, I think this looks fine. Animal migration cougars. I need your leather. I'm sorry. I'm s 30 cougars versus one ohm. Oh, it is a redemption art though, isn't it? Drafted hunt. He should kill them all doing that. Let's see. Watching for targets. What if I say search and destroy? No. Oh, God. I'm going to have to manually club all these cougars. I'm right through the center of town. I'm surprised they aren't attacking as a, as a group. Maybe if we take the one at the front, that might trigger them. Please don't, like, attack as a pack now, though. That wouldn't be ideal. Yeah, that's it. Get them to attack right as they walk past the school. That's a fucking great idea. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Just, just, just be careful. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I'm gonna hold it. I believe in you, I'm. This is a bunch of cougars. Okay, I won't lie to you. I may have made a mistake. God damn, even Ohm got clapped by them a little bit. Look at that. Bitten in the neck by a cougar. What? 
Oh, oh, thank God. I thought that was cougar related. Turns out she just died of natural causes. Oh, she was 79. Oh, okay. I genuinely thought the fucking cougars killed someone. I was about to be furious. Ah, oh, Bordoon. Bordoon is finally gone. A heart attack at the age of 79 as well. That's two people we've had die at the age of 79. That means that Arcadius, 69-year-old Arcadius, is the colony elder. Frightening. Goodbye, Bordoon. I had to say it. I think we may need a bigger graveyard. That was the tiny child. Of course, it'd be the bloody child that was savaged by a cougar. Um, oh, you lost a leg? Well... Look, we don't get any animals on this map. I had to take the opportunity while we had it. Oh, shit. The Ciala gave birth when she was carrying back a cougar. Wow. Christabel Dimos, another son for Arcadius. Apparently is a lush. Alcohol culture is just part of life for Christabel. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking psychoid babies. We got piss head babies. Oh, no. Okay, well, Ciala needs to get back and... Probably recover from that, if uh, if that's okay. Brunk, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you carry a baby. Who can we start training up to be a chef? Midori is already good at growing plant cutting. Oh, well, we could get anybody that could do that. Three out of 20. Well, they can enjoy the food poisoning for a little bit, but in the long term, we might get a good chef, so can't really complain. Extreme infection. 97% immunity, 92 spread. Okay, you're fine then. And toilet gravy has 97% immunity, 80% spread on the leg, and 97% immunity and 62% spread on the arm. Looks like we're going to be fine then. No limbs and no deaths. No. There's a survivor. Get out of here. Oh, kill. Oh, no. Actual bricks. Well, now we're going to have to tear all this down and start again. Basic tool crafting. Wait. So we can make them pickaxes and things like that. We could make use of some of this empty space and build Mansion Arcadius. It almost breaks my heart to say it. Poor Arcadius. Sweet Arcadius at the age of 74 has to consider a successor. So I've renamed all of the children. They've, they've survived their infancy. They've survived cougar attacks and slavers. We now have Kippos, Hanky Pank, Janosch, <laughs> And Grove Hanky Pank, I thought was an incredibly appropriate name. That is Arcadius' oldest son. Male human, age 16. And in some ways, he's a pretty perfect successor for Arcadius because his best skill is crafting. And he's also skilled and intellectual, much like Arcadius. He is essentially just a, just a mini version right now. No! No! He's gone. A heart attack. Wait, but he was a sleeve. So uh, this is a mod we've never used before. And I have no idea how this works. But as far as I recall, because he was a deserter from the Empire, he, the, the, the man we know as Arcadius is installed in this. The cortical stack. But can we remove it if we're, can you remove it? Consume Arcadius. Extract stack. So his body is dead at the age of 75. Wow, he's quite young then. Well, I mean, young compared to the other people who died. Shit, he's gone. But we can... We can take that out? Whoa. Ohm just noticed the glowing blue rock on the back of his head and has taken it out. There it is. An Ultratech implant with the human consciousness stored on it. Can be implanted into an empty sleeve or a random body to bring back the person. Oh my god. The glowy blue rock of Arcadius. We don't know what it is and we don't know why it was there. But it's something to remember him by. A sad day for this colony. Goodbye, Arcadius. You were the first of us. And some would say you are the greatest of us. Without you, there wouldn't be generations of colonists stood here watching now. Wow. And there it is. He leaves behind his wife, Siala, his children, Krobe, Kippos, Janosch, Stumpy, Slaghorn, Hanky Pank, 
and Moira, and of course his good friend Ohm. Unbelievable. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Someone should really take that baby with them. Goodbye, Arcadius. Thank you for building this colony. One way or another. <laughs> Thank you for bearing the weight of this colony on your shoulders. Bearing the load. Load after load after load. I guess the better question is, who have we got right now? Who isn't related to him? Well, obviously, um, uh, Struppers, Krunk isn't related. But Krunk is married to his daughter, Stumpy. So they might end up being related. Uh, or more specifically, the next generation might still end up being related to Arcadius. Siphon is unrelated. Uh, Ciala is obviously his ex-wife. Well, now widow, I should say. Um, Stumpy is his daughter. Toilet Gravy is unrelated as well. Uh, Puke Soup is unrelated. The old, So the issue we've got right now is, is there are no female members of the colony who are unrelated to... Okay, so how could this work? So maybe Ciala and Siphon get into a relationship and they have some children that end up marrying the children of... Oh, God. Uh, Arcadius from his first marriage because they would be unrelated, but then they're all related still. We don't have we don't have a high enough coefficient right now to get <laughs> to get this colony going. There's just not enough we need to introduce new blood. No. They didn't What the fuck? Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign from Arcadius. He's buried and then all of a sudden the fucking sky falls on us. Oh, and it's solid gold? <laughs> oh, that is insanity. That was one block off of crushing Arcadius. Oh my god. The tomb was desecrated, but... God, so we got a lot of gold out of that, so I really can't complain. I say we leave the obsidian. I think leave it there. A memory of when the sky fell because Arcadius died. Boy, that's even going to take Ohm a long time to clear. Damn it, Arcadius. Look what you've done. Aurora and Phoebe Chillax. Very nice. Gives us a little bit of time to keep building things up here. So we've got the storage room being moved over into here. We need to get proper storage, actual lockers and and chip so that it's not all thrown on the floor. We're going to change this into three more houses. Then I think the top job is weapons and armor for everybody. Preferably blunt weapons, I'm thinking, so that we can maybe uh, take one or two prisoners and inject a little bit of fresh blood into things because it's getting dangerously Arcadius right now. Hey, hang on a second. Did this tiny baby just give Omen an upgrade? That'll do, Krobe. That'll do. And... Oh, level four, right? Hall skip? What the hell is hall skip? Okay. Teleports all haulables in the selected area to an adequate stockpile? Oh, shit. That's like really, really good. Not not really good, but time-saving, you know? It's ended up with all of these bloody utility side focus and silent, but no... Nothing offensive at all. Death really has swept our colony today. And because so many people are related, well, I mean, you can see at the top there quite clearly that, that all of the... All of the Arcadius dynasty have just been absolutely devastated. Tomorrow, we carry on. In memory of Arcadius, the work can continue. Led by Hanky Pank, Arcadius' son. Ape crafting. We're going to have him make all the blunt weapons. And then hopefully we can capture some people to help Bring a little bit of new life into this colony. Big F's in chat for Arcadius, please. Gone but not forgotten. What a guy. Thank you to the patrons who have allowed the story of Arcadius to exist in the first place. A big thank you to Solithal, Orcs Chops, Grey Plays, Tenacious Bloom, Hwalg, Neozilla, Red Pants Chief, Other Guy 39, Nick Danger 013, Vash, Slow King 1710, Waffles and Whiskey, Cobalt Kitsune, and 
chicken for their support the executive producer tiers over on patreon big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place thank you for arcadius and his existence thank you as well to canopus thistress morana trench gun the gentleman ghostronaut yanosh adam s atreus sen matthew nia ragupin an aurora revan and omegador as well see you all tomorrow goodbye arcadius <laughs>